Hello and welcome aboard Whale Pod to another episode of Pokemon Scarlet. I'm your Captain Whale and today we're going to be leaving Cortado after, or Cortando after getting our first gym badge, the bug badge. And we're going to be heading for our first Titan badge. I do have a flag marked on the map, but I'm not going to go there just quite yet. Instead, we're going to be progressing toward the uh, Stony Cliff Titan, Klauf. Like someone saying Klaus with a bit of a lisp. And we found the TM for Draining Kiss and can now make that at the at the TM machine. That is literally right behind the Cortando gym. We're going to walk out of Cortando here on camera to make sure that we're not getting ambushed by Nimona. But then we're going to take a break and be back when we're at our next destination area. Let's see, how many battles do I need for you? Hello there, I'm a Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice Pokemon battles. So far, defeated two trainers here in the Area 2 South Province. Once you defeat five trainers, you'll get a lovely prize. So we need three more trainers here in the South Province. We have successfully left uh, Cortando without getting ambushed by, uh, by, um, uh, Nimona. So we're gonna uh, be back when there's either something interesting or when we're approaching Klauf. And we're back with our first point of interest, down on a grassy area of South Province Area 2. We did find a wild Terra Meowth with a Terra type of flying. We're gonna go ahead and catch it. We're gonna terrestrialize our own pig for this as well. I did also find that rock type Diglett again, but one rock type Diglett is more than enough. I believe there's also a Fire-type Terrastalized Wild Fletchling around here, which is cool because it does evolve into a Fire-type, but also lame because it does evolve into a Fire-type. So it's cool as long as you're keeping it as a Fletchling for like a Little Cup or something. Alright, Shonkers, don't get a crit here, buddy. That should be not quite low enough. We'll go Disarming Voice. That should chip away at it. That's gonna hurt our pig. But he toughs it out for us, because he's just our bro like that. Now that is enough to break the Terra. The Amatrasalization um, just needs to get into the red, and then it will shatter. And that is our flying Terra type Meowth caught. We'll be back with the next point of interest after we re well, no, we're gonna read Meowth's uh, Pokedex entry here. Meowth is the scratch cat Pokemon normal. This is its Cantonian form that is found in the wild here in Paldea. All it does is sleep during the daytime. At night, it patrols its territory with its eyes aglow. One foot, four inches, 9.3 pounds. We're gonna send Meowth no nickname to a box. Now, we will be back with another point of interest. Point of interest number two. I figured out how to interact with that gimme ghoul. You just gotta talk to it. It is very tanky here. I do believe Astonish is its only offensive move, so we should be good to whittle it away with Lechonk's weaker special move. Well, the one that affects gimme ghoul anyway. It is a pure ghost type. Fortunately, it's not Ghost Steel like its evolution, which would make it resistant to Disarming Voice. There's the crit hit that we did not want to get, but got anyway. Oh, it does have Tackle. It has Tackle and Astonish. But Gimme Ghoul is ridiculously weak and has a ridiculously absurd evolution criteria. Let's see if he'll... Let's see if he likes the Premier Ball. Nope, does not like the Premier Ball. We'll Disarming Voice it again. Great ball for you, then. Gotcha, Gimme Ghoul was caught. Gotcha, 
Gimme Ghoul is the coin chest Pokemon, pure ghost type chest form. There's also a roaming form, which cannot be interacted with. I do believe the roaming form will follow the player around in Pokemon Go, but uh, I have a less than polite nickname for Pokemon Go, so you'll never see me play it. This Pokemon was born inside a treasure chest about 1500 years ago. It sucks the life force out of scoundrels who try to steal the treasure. One foot tall and 11 pounds. Obviously not a lot of treasure in that chest if it's if, if it's only 11 pounds. We're going to send it to our boxes because it is completely useless until it is able to evolve. As it only ever learns Astonish and Tackle. Gimme ghoul coins. I want to check real quickly to see how many that gave us. That's going to be in... TM Materials. Or is it? It might be a key item. I'm not sure. It gave us 50 Gimme Ghoul coins. That is... 1/20th the number we need to evolve Gimme Ghoul. And with that, we'll be back at our next point of interest. Next point of interest arrived at. Point of interest number four. Our Lechonk is evolving. Now, this is the male Oinkaloni. And Lechonk has evolved into Oinkaloni. No new dex entry on the evolution there, because it's technically not a new register. But we do now have a male Oinkaloni as well. Now, we'll be back when we're at the next point of interest. And here we are at point of interest number five. We have a wild Tink-a-Tink -tink right in front of us. We're going to low kick it, whittle it down with uh, some more Pooper's weaker moves. I'm being careful with this Tinka tink here. We will at least resist the Fairy Wind. It is obviously not very heavy. It's pretty hard, though. We do still resist those fairy winds all day and all night. We're gonna try and Premier Ball it. Oh, so close. All right, Pooper. We're gonna Wooper Potion you. Get it? Because it's called a Super Potion and Super Rhymes with Wooper. I just ruined the joke, didn't I? Good. Humor's not allowed on the internet anymore, you see. Metal Claw is a good move to have on it already. Premier Ball the Tinka Tink. And we got it this time. Tinka Tink is going to be the fifth permanent member of the squad. And we have Tinka Tink hair times two. Oh, I did find out what to do with the roaming Gimme Ghouls. Talk, well, quote, quote, talking to the roaming Gimme Ghouls will convert them into a Gimme Ghoul coin. The Metalsmith Pokemon, Fairy Steel. This swings its handmade hammer around to protect itself, but the hammer is often stolen by Pokemon that eat metal. No nickname for Tinka Tink. We are going to add it to the party. Bye, Oinkaloni. Now, we have plenty of potions and stuff, so we're going to auto-heal our Tinka Tink. And our Poopy Boy, or Poopy Girl. Make Tinka Tink the lead Pokemon. Get our uh, stowaway Tarantula back in the back. Ah, uh, the Wild Terra disappeared.
Let's see how our Tinka Tink does in its first battle against a Bronzor here. Baby Doll Eyes is the last move not used. Everything will be resisted by this Bronzor, so we're gonna just, uh... We're just gonna Metal Claw it, whittle it down. We can trade these resisted hits all day, Bronzor. I'm gonna wrap this Bronzor in with the Tinka Tink because Bronzor is necessary to trade for uh, an item needed to evolve one of the new Pokemon. Tinkatink cannot be confused, it has own tempo. One more Metal Claw should get it into Pokeball range. Gotcha, Bronzor was caught. Two Bronzor fragments, you need ten of those to trade for an item that evolves a new unrevealed first evolution into Armor Rouge, the new uh, fire psychic type Pokemon exclusive to Pokemon uh, Scarlet. Exclusive only in the sense that the item needed to evolve it is exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet. Bronzor, the bronze Pokemon, is Steel Psychic. Ancient people believe that the pattern on Bronzor's back contained a mysterious power. Height 1 foot 8, weight 133.4 pounds. Now that's the weight I expect from a Steel type. No nickname to the Bronzor. Send him to boxes. Now we will be back at the next point of interest. Point of interest number 7, Tarunchula, our little stowaway, is evolving. into uh, Spidops. It is the trap Pokemon, pure bug type. It clings to branches and ceilings using its threads and moves without a sound. It takes out its prey before the prey even notices it. Three foot three inches tall, 36.4 pounds. And we're filling in some of the early pages of the deck. So once learned Silk Trap, this is a protect move that also lowers the attacker's speed. And Spidops forgot Assurance and learned Silk Trap instead. Spidops is of a disappointingly still disappear bug type. Energy powder right there, and we'll be back at the next point of interest, or at a uh, closer to Clough if there are no more points of interest. And I think we're done a point of interest, so we're just on the road heading towards the uh, Titan Badge Rock with the Search for the Stony Cliff Titan. We gathered a crowd of a Makahita, a Skiddo, and a Nackley while doing so. Nackley is an interesting Pokemon. I know it does have a pretty unique ability where it, pre where it protects it from status conditions. And also, in addition to that, uh, halves the damage it takes from Ghost-type moves. We're gonna go ahead and battle this trainer here. Sorry, Clough, you're gonna have to wait your turn. There was that rock wall. There was a that Pokemon. Incredible, you know? We're gonna battle Laura the Artist and take her, um, her uh, piddling pay from her. A Vivian in a different pattern than the one we saw before the gym battle last episode. Level 12. Yeah, we're gonna start off with a Metal Claw, see if we can't get the attack boost. Assuming it doesn't sleep powder us. We're gonna give it, like, one turn to try and wake up. Apparently there's a speed tie going on between Tinka uh, Tink, Tink and this underleveled Vivian. Vivian. 
doubly resisted by being both steel and fairy. Not using special attacks here. Go ahead, Vivian. Tinka Tink woke up and is going to use Metal Claw. Go ahead, do one more damage to me, I dare you. Win the speed tie here. Yes, we win the speed tie. Lost the speed tie, so we'll take a total of five damage from this uh, Vivian. But it will go down. Oh, I did get the reward over in South Province Area 2. The reward was just Aerial Lace, not the greatest TM in the world. Florigato wants to learn Seed Bomb, though. That's a straight upgrade to uh, Leafage. They both don't have a secondary effect. They're both Accuracy 100. And Seed Bomb is just, well, stronger. Crowd Leafage and learn Seed Bomb instead. And then we defeated Laura the Artist. And uh, 1200 in prize money from Laura. Don't need to be sneaking for a ladder. Nothing on this mid level of the uh, tower here. There should be a Gimme Ghoul up here, I want to say. There is a Gimme Ghoul. Metronome. Fight me, you. Fight me, Gimme Ghoul. A level 10. And we take it down with a crit. We should still get some Gimme Ghoul coins from it, though. 60 Gimme Ghoul coins. Look out below, everyone. Much faster way than climbing down or even jumping down each individual ladder. Right, we need to be heading more this way. Ah, there's our big boy. I have caught one of these smaller Klaus that's wandering around. Let's chase down this biggest boy. Hey, Titan. You're ready to fall to my team of a lot of effective against rock types because rock has five weaknesses. Vice Grip. All right, Tinka Tink. Get that defense down on him. Let's get the attack up on you, hopefully. Tinka Tink can no longer be withdrawn. Wasn't going to withdraw anyway. We're too good against you. Attack Rose. Special Attack Rose. Speed Rose. Defense fell. And Spadiff fell. The Vice Grip is still going to be resisted, even with that half a shell smash. And Klauf is going to... I believe that was a forced uh, stop there, as Klauf is going to run from us. Hey, Klaufy boy.
running away, eh? Titan Clouth began began eating something. Well, you found it. And that thing's the Stony Cliff Titan? No, Clough is... Uh, no Clough has got any business being that big. It's gonna be even stronger now after eating those herbs. Let's watch ourselves, Whale. No, not move info. We want check status. Ah, it's just got its old uh, Titan thing that is not representable in a stat ups or downs. Okay, Arvin, whatever you say. No attack or defense down on that rock smash. Shelder's stuck in here now. Anger shell has been triggered. Anger shell is a cool ability, even if it's only half a shell smash. Shame it's on a pure rock type. Rock is my least favorite out of the 18 Pokemon types. That's part of the reason why I boxed both of my Nacklies, despite Nackly being actually a pretty good Pokemon. Not another phase change. That's gonna take down Tinkatink. -tink. How unfortunate. Hey, Arvin, you didn't even need my help. You got... You got this, buddy. Tinka Tink defeated it from the grave, apparently. Spide Ops leveled up. Uh, Whooper is close to level 20. All right, look at my little buddy coming through like a champ. But these Titan Pokemon are, yeesh, I sure don't like having something so tough out to get me. I bet somewhere in here there's more of that Herba Mystica the Titan was eating. Quick, let's have a look around before it comes back. That we will, Arvin. Watch your step, it's pretty dark. No way. There's the Herba Mystica growing right there. This is one of the Herba Mystica. It's exactly how it looked in the book. The sweet Herba Mystica. Yes, we actually found one. It's all thanks to you, Whale. Now then, let's see. What does this book have to say? It says here that the Sweet Herba Mystica is good for gut health and that it helps aid digestion. It says it's great for stomach aches too, or when you want to stimulate the old appetite. Now if I can just get him to eat some. Alright, now it's my turn to show off what I can do. You're about to get a taste of my cooking. Yeah, yeah, wha, yeah! Here you go. An Arvin original sandwich packed full of herbs. I'll even give you a badge, you know, as a thank you for taking on that Titan Pokemon. I call it a Titan badge. Made it myself using a replica of the gym badges, see? Stony Cliff Titan defeated for the Path of Legends. 
That should give us the uh, rock badge. Hey, Karidon. Is this how you get new abilities? By eating Arvin's sandwiches. Ah, what's up with that thing? It just comes out of its ball on its own whenever it wants. Sniff, sniff. It's sniffing our sandwich again. Hey, now. No, that's not for you. Here. Do we want to give our sandwich to Karidon? Here you go. Hey, I went through all the trouble of making that for you, and you just give it away. I hope you realize that that's all there was. So now there's none left for you. That's totally fine. Ah, come on. Now you're making me feel like I'm the selfish jerk here. Here, you can have half of mine, but you better save for every last bite. Huh? You already ate that whole thing? Koridon will be able to dash now. Ah, so Titans are how you level up Koridon's uh, traversal capabilities. Whoa, I can't believe it. The power of these herbs really is worth guarding. If they had that big of an effect on your Pokemon, then I bet... Uh, I bet it'll come in super handy for that treasure hunt assignment we've got. Yep, that's what I bet. Well, you've both filled your bellies with some of my legendary sandwiches. Guess it's time to tidy everything up. Oh, don't you worry about helping. After battling the Titan, you've earned a break. Just leave all this to me, though I'd be much obliged if you'd get a start on searching out the remaining four Herba Mystica for us. I really owe you. Okay, the coast is clear. You can come out now. What are you up to, Arvin? You're now top of my sussy list, right up there with Clavel. Roto to 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 to. Hello, Whale. This is Sada. I detected that Karidon has regained some of its original power. It seems it will now be able to dash at high speeds while you're riding upon it. How to dash. You can now have Karidon dash ahead by pressing the left stick. Watch out for trees when dashing at high speeds. If you strike a tree while dashing, Pokemon lurking up among the branches will fall down, allowing you to battle them. I hope you'll continue to explore Paldea with Karidon as you have done here. Your route is not fixed, but open up before you. Seek out your own path using your map and the tools you have at hand. When you find your curiosity peaked, you should go and explore as your heart desires. All that you experience will help you grow in some way, great or small. Go forth on your journey and take good care of Karidon for me. Now... This is not going to make the lag issues that uh, Scarlet and Violet has any better by any stretch of the imagination. But we will take a free Gimme Ghoul coin when we see one lying around. And a Skiddo, apparently. Tink and Tink got fully healed after the battle. How unfortunate for us. Take that, Skiddo. Tinka Tink now is Insomnia. Sure wish that Vivian was kind enough to, you know, give me Insomnia before trying to put me to sleep in that trainer battle. Hey, Skiddo, you're now in perfect capture range for us. Throw a Pokeball at it.
Gotcha, Skiddo was cut. And we have an update to the Pokedex. The Mount Pokemon, Grass type, uh, 2 foot 11, 68.3 pounds. Until recently, people living in the mountains would ride on the backs of these Pokemon to, tr to traverse the mountain paths. No nickname for Skiddo. We'll send him to a box. Skiddo is now registered. Registered in the Pokedex, not in some other way, you weirdo. Clauf wants a, a tussle with us. Not very effective on the rock throwing there, Clauf. Attack Rose on the Tinkatink. I want to say Tinkatink evolves sometime in the mid 20s. Oh, this Clough has Anger Shell. The other one didn't. I might actually catch this thing. Assuming the Draining Kiss that I'm going to use to try and whittle it down here doesn't one shot it. Or not one shot it, but take out the remainder of its bar. And it does take it down. But at least we got back some of the HP it took from us. And you guys get to see that uh, Clough is actually a very good source of experience. And hey, 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 Whooper is evolving. Let's see what you turn into, little whoopy boy. Whoopy girl. Hey, it's like a, it's like a flat quagsire. Claude Sire. It's adorable. This isn't my first reaction to Claude Sire. I've seen a wild one swimming in a pond over in a South Province Area 4 during the rain. Didn't catch it because I wanted to evolve my own Claude Sire. But you get it, clawed like a dirt clawed. Spiny fish Pokemon poison ground. When attacked, this Pokemon will retaliate by sticking thick spines out from its body. It's a risky move that puts everything on the line. It is five foot eleven and weighs a whopping 491.6 pounds. Five foot eleven in length, I'm gonna guess here. And Claude Sire goes in right between Wooper and Psyduck. Well, we're gonna pass on insomnia, uh, not not insomnia, amnesia. There's an awakening. Okay, we are on the path towards Artisan here. We're gonna end off the episode arriving in Artisan. Unfortunately, when I'm recording, this is technically when this video should be uploaded. So today, this episode, you're gonna be seeing it later than usual. Might even push Xenoblade Chronicles back to 6.30. Let's see, 5.30 p.m. Guard spec. Hyper Potion and Polka Doll there. Ooh, a different Oracorio and a Murkrow. Where's the most interesting one of them all, though? I could have sworn I saw one of these guys around here. Shepet leading a band of Drifloons. Let's see what the tree headbutt does. Uh, apparently nothing in that tree. Ooh, this is what I was looking for. Squawkabilly. We battled one from a trainer, but have never seen one wild. Let's catch ourselves a Squawkabilly. Oh, and Tempo prevents intimidation. I don't know if that's new this generation, but it's uh, very nice to have around. Squawkabilly's gonna quick attack right into our steel tink -a tink and we're going to suck up that precious, precious HP from it. Get back an Oren Berry's worth of health from that one. Yep, we're going to net gain off of this one. Take six damage to get back ten. Seems like a pretty good deal to me. Got back eleven there. Must have been a higher roll. 
should be able to take one more draining kiss before we go for a uh... Now the torment will kick into effect when we're ready to go for the capture Let's pokeball the squawkabilly and if we don't succeed we'll try out something stronger Gotcha, Squawkabilly was caught. Three feathers from the Squawkabilly there. Normal flying parrot Pokemon in the yellow plumage form. These Squawkabilly are hot-headed and their fighting style is vicious. They'll leap within reach of their foes to engage in, com in close combat. Is that a hint that Squawkabilly is going to learn close combat at some point? No, we're not going to nickname our, our, our Magreaser Parrot here and just send it to a box. Squawkabilly has been sent to your boxes. And that's now another entry that went from seen to captured. Okay, yeah, that's just a den down there, not a wild Terra Pokemon. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Yes, we'll heal our Pokemon. Tinga Tinga and the rest of your team should be all better now. Come back and see us whenever you need. So close, Coridon. I wonder, though. Not quite. Let's get a. Where I'm not having to take that jump at so much of an angle. Almost. There's an item on top of that Cyclazar parking lot. So rude to the Cyclazar to just, you know, have him be sitting in a parking lot there. These are a couple of food vendors, then, since the Coridon, uh, so shamelessly snarfed down our sandwich. And we've arrived at the next gym. We're not gonna go inside yet in case Nimona does ambush us, but... This is where we're going to end this episode of Whale Pod. Thank you for watching. If you did like it, make sure to like, comment, and sub the channel if you have not done so already. All three of those helped me out considerably, and I appreciate each and every one of them. You guys, for all the subscribers out there watching this, you're awesome. Now, with that said and done, uh, I hope you all, all are having fantastic days, Whale Pod. But until next time, stay cool, stay classy, and most importantly, stay healthy. But until next time, this is Captain Whale signing off.